All right, ladies and gentlemen, so today we're going to do the assembly for the Project Lead the Way skimmer. In the last class, if you remember, we did the layout, which is what I have here. Um, I'm going to cut it out. I'll show you exactly what you need to cut out. Make sure when you're cutting it, you're being careful to cut nice straight lines. You don't want to have any crooked lines, any uneven lines, any lines that are not parallel. You want to have all straight clean cuts. So I'm going to cut each of these out. We have the main body cut out. Here's my two fins. Cut these each out. So fin one, fin two, and then finally the air scoop. Notice again, clean, accurate, precise cuts. Want to make sure that we are getting the most out of our skimmer and that comes from having great measurements and these good cuts. So air scoops cut out, fins are cut out. For the main body we need to cut up on these slits here, three inches up that we measured out yesterday. Do it on both sides. Notice we're just cutting up. We're not cutting off anything. We're just cutting up the lines. Now we want to make sure all of our folds are crisp 90 degree folds. So what I'm going to do is score the manila folder by using a pen or a pencil um, lined up with the ruler and I'm going to push down pretty hard with the pen. I don't want to push down too hard where I cut the manila folder but if you push down hard you can feel the indentation that you make which is going to allow you to get a nice clean crisp fold. So do it on both sides and as you can see I can fold that skimmer right on that mark I just made. So I get that nice clean fold. Perfect. And I'm going to do the same thing with the air scoop, same method. One's down, one's back. I can fold that right there, get a nice 90 degree fold. And now it comes time to actually assemble it. I'm going to fold this back slightly to get that ready for one of the steps coming up. But the first thing I'm going to do is going to secure my air scoop. I'm going to first tape, place the tape on the air scoop and fold this tape back. When I fold the tape back, I'm going to put the skinny part up at the front of the air scoop and the taller part towards the back. I want it to be flush with the front. So it's in there. I'm going to secure the tape on the inside of the skimmer, wrap the tape around the side, just like that. You can see the one side is secured. To secure the other side, I'm going to do the same exact thing. Put the tape on the air scoop, fold the tape back, put the t air scoop down, secure it on the inside, fold the tape around. So at that point, your air scoop is in secured. Notice the shorter part is at the front, the taller part is at the back. Next, I want to use my fins, secure them on. But the first thing I have to do is tape down this tab right here. So just the same exact method we use with the air scoop. I'm going to put the tape on here to secure this flap on the back, fold the tape back. You want it to diagonally be slanted down. So once it's slanted down the position and angle you want, secure the tape on the inside of the skimmer. Before you fold the tape over though, grab a fin, put the fin on, wrap the tape around so that way you can secure the fin from the outside. You'll notice that it's still not completely secured, so you get another piece of tape, hold it down so you can see the fin, the side of the skimmer, and that flap. Put a piece of tape on that touches all three parts, and then your fin will be secure. Do the same exact thing on the other side. 
So I'm going to put the tape on, fold the tape back once it's where I want it to be, diagonally slant the flap down, secure the tape. Once we secure the tape, I'm going to put the fin on, wrap the tape around, and then to secure the fin, again I want the tape to touch the flap, the skimmer, and the fin. Put it on and you're good to go. If you have any questions about assembling the skimmer, please rewind, pause, rewatch this video, or you can ask me questions in class. Thank you for watching.